about isosceles triangle. Okay. So look at the triangle ABC. Here the side A is 6 cm and the side B is 6 cm. And join the corner C and to the to the side A. Join the corner C to the side A. To the side A B and we get C M. Okay. M is the midpoint of the side A B. So when we join the corner C to the point M or to the midpoint of A B, we get two triangles A M C and B M C. Okay. So in A M C the side A C equal to the uh, in triangle B M C the side B C, which means the two sides A C and B C are equal. Okay. The two, these two sides are 6 cm. Then <coughs> M is the midpoint of AB. Okay, M is the midpoint of AB. So AM equal to B. AM equal to B. Because M is the midpoint. M is midpoint. AB. M is midpoint of AB. Then CM is common side of both these triangles. Okay. CM equal CM common side. Common side of triangle, both triangle, common side of common side of triangle ABC. Sorry, AMC and BMC. Triangle BMC. Okay. So from this, we can, we already learned, if three sides of a triangle are equal to the three sides of another triangle, then the angle opposite of the equal sides are also equal. Okay. Here, the three sides of the triangle ABC are equal to the three side of the triangle BMC and also it's an angle opposite to the equal sides are also equal. Here, so we, uh, we can write that angle AMC and BMC are also equal. AMC equal to BMC because the angle opposite to the side AC and BC. Angle opposite to the side AC comma BC and A and A and angle B is the and A and A and B also equal because it is opposite to the side CM so opposite to the side CM opposite to CM is the opposite side CM and B is also opposite to the side CM. So C, CM is the common side and next AMC is this angle and BMC is this angle is opposite to the side AC and BC and AC and BC are equal. Okay. So the angle opposite to the equal side are also equal. So from this we can reach a general principle. The angles opposite to the equal side are equal. Okay. The angles opposite to the equal side. Because the equal side is AC and BC. And the angle is when we take in the angle A and B. The angle opposite to the equal side. The angle opposite to the equal side are also equal. And also the side. If, if two sides of a triangle are equal. Then the angle opposite to the Two sides are also equal. Okay, so once again, if two angles of a triangle are equal, if, if two, once again, if two sides of a 
side of it two side of it two side of triangles are equal two side of a triangle two side of triangle are equal then then if two side of triangle are equal then the angle opposite to the then the angle opposite to the equal side equal side are also equal okay if two if two sides of a triangle are equal then the angle opposite to the equal side are also equal now and also we can say that like this if two angles of a triangle are equal then the side opposite to the equal angles are also equal so once again if two angles are two angles of a triangle are equal then the side opposite to the equal angles are equal okay if two angles of a triangle are equal then the side opposite to the equal angles are also equal or other ways if two side of a triangle are equal then the angle opposite to the two sides are also equal okay so these are relating or from uh, from these are relating to this figure okay next what is an isosceles triangle okay what is an isosceles triangle so then what is an isosceles triangle next we learn about isosceles triangle what is an isosceles triangle okay so here the two side are given in the triangle abc ac equal bc means 6 cm so a isosceles triangle is <coughs> if two side of a triangle are equal if two sorry if two so this is triangle abc if two sides of a triangle are equal then this triangle are called isosceles triangle okay here the side ac and bc is equal so it's a isosceles triangle and we in, in previous we learned if two side are equal then the angle opposite to the equal side are also equal okay here ac and bc is equal so the angle a and the angle b is also equal and next what is an equilateral triangle okay so an isosceles triangle is the triangle with two sides equal called isosceles triangle isosceles triangle next we 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 have to learn about the what is an equilateral triangle okay equilateral triangle equilateral lateral triangle equal which means the three sides are 6 cm so we can say that a triangle with three sides are equal then this triangle are called equilateral triangle okay a triangle with three sides are equal called equilateral triangle Right. 
whole equilateral triangle. Then <coughs> here the angle of equilateral triangle is 60, 60 degree each. 60 degree each. So the angle is 60 degree each. The angle of equilateral triangle is 60 degree each. Okay. So these are the topics relating isosceles triangle. Okay? So what is an isosceles triangle? Then what is an equilateral triangle? Isosceles triangle means a triangle with two sides are equal. Then its angle opposite to the equal sides are also equal. Okay? Isosceles, isosceles triangle means if two sides are equal or two angles are equal, then the triangles are uh, isosceles, isosceles triangle. And then equilateral triangle means if three sides of a triangle are equal, then this triangle are called equilateral triangle. And also its angle of angle is 60 degree each. Okay? So these are the topic related equilateral or isosceles triangle. So I hope all of you understand. Thank you.